and welcome to another CGN Games Unboxing. I can't believe today is finally here. We talked about it on this show uh, last week, but just miraculously out of nowhere, this box has turned up. And if you've been following us at all, it's absolutely destroyed. But um, as you might be able to see from the packaging there, the Yes Ojo or Oho, as they say, um, is finally here. So the Nintendo Switch projector that we've been waiting on for months, supposed to be back in December uh, for backers, um, but here we are in February and it's finally come. I actually backed this myself, so this isn't a promoted video. It's nothing like that. I purchased this myself, but I am so excited to finally get in here, see what it's actually like um, and see all the bits and pieces. So without further ado, we've waited long enough. Let's go. Okay, I did attempt this unboxing for about 20 seconds and then it wasn't recording. <laughs> so I'm starting again. I have managed to open the box, but here it is. Um, like I said, I managed to open the box <laughs> and then I realized it wasn't recording. But anyway, let's get going. So the first thing to sort of know is I actually haven't seen anybody um, do an unboxing of this um, who actually backed it. I've only seen people who have been um, provided with one. So um, I did actually back it and this is mine. Um, the proof is kind of <laughs> in the madness of the stickers here. Um, so if you've been following this at all and um, people have been backing it, have been getting a bit worried because um, they got tracking numbers, but it didn't track anything. Um, so it was getting a bit worried. And they said that they were having issues with customs. I now believe them <laughs> because there are so many barcodes and stuff and that isn't even all of it. Um, I have more stuff um, there and um, I'm, uh, yeah, it kind of has my address all of it. So I'm kind of trying to avoid that. But I um, on inside it, it actually had the invoice as well. Um, and I thought this was interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is what the issue was, but if you can actually see that, I don't know how you can see that on camera, but it actually says um, description of goods and it actually says remote control. And I'm like, it's not a remote control, it's a projector. So I'm not sure what that's about. And it also says material plastic metal. And um, so I don't know if that's <laughs> that's why, but um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% on that. But there was a second one as well. Let's see if this one says any different. So now this one says exactly the same as well. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's what the customs issue was, but um, if you can actually see, if I can oh, just pull this box this way around, it actually says it's been x-rayed, it's been, it's had everything under the sun done to it. So it must have got through, but I think, I don't know if something in the way they filled it out or something has caused issues um, with that. So um, anyway, without further ado, let's get on inside it. This seems to be the first actual unboxing that, I've, that is available on YouTube um, of people who have actually backed this. So I'm excited to actually see what, I mean, if you are a backer, this is what you are going to receive when you get it. Now, I was in the top, I was in the first 100 um, people to back it, so I got a free case, that's pretty cool. Um, so this is the case, oh, just ripped the bag. Um, but I will unbox that last so we can actually try it out. So I managed to get into this part. <laughs> I managed, as in like, I managed to take the bubble wrap out, but then I realized it wasn't recording. So we'll go back with this. So it, I noticed, uh, let's take it out of the bubble wrap. And this bubble wrap actually has, this is why I kept it on there. It actually says Yes Ojo on it, which is pretty cool. And a nice touch makes me feel um, happy that I feel like it's a legit thing. But um, this is the box. Um, and you can see it actually it's just called Ojo Projector there. I know it's Oho technically, but it, it, it's Ojo to me, so I don't really care. Um, but yeah, it doesn't say Yes Ojo on it, so I'm not, I'm not, is the company Yes Ojo? And this is the Ojo Projector, I'm not sure. But anyway, there you can see world's first projector for Nintendo Switch. And I really like how they've managed to make it look like, um, like an actual Nintendo Switch product. Um, it's kept, got that sort of same, like the way the photos are and everything. Nice glossy photos as well. Well, well, that's just the sticker. Never mind. But the nice, nice quality of pictures anyway. But uh, there you go. So um, it says Texas Instruments there. I believe that's to do with actually how the light is is done uh, on the projector, which is pretty cool. But let, without further ado, let's open it. So this opens like a good old uh, a good old Apple product. So just wait. You feel it coming. There it is. Ooh. Okay. So uh, first we have the user manual. I am not just going to throw this away because I feel like I am really going to need this. Um, there you go. In case you wanted to know how it works. All right. Next, let's start on this side. So, oh, that's in there. Tight. There we go. So 
This is uh, the power lead and this is pretty much the same as the official Nintendo one that you actually get with your Switch. Um, it's the same size and everything, just got a little slightly dis different design on the top. So you should be able to charge your Switch with that as well, which is cool. And then, what's this? Oh, okay, so this, this um, so because it took so long for us to get our um, Ojo's, because it was supposed to come in December for the first 100 backers, um, they actually sent out these. So this is part of the, the sort of apology, I guess. Um, and it's actually a really cool um, Nintendo Switch cartridge carrying case. Um, so this is actually way better than what I saw in the pictures. So um, that's pretty cool. It's got a nice shiny, um, nice shiny sticker on the, um, it's not actually a sticker. It's actually on the, I think it's on the inside. I'm not sure. But um, I think there's a black one and there's a red one as well. So you get a random ones, but this, this white one looks really cool. Um, and it holds, let's see, 6, 12, 18, 24 cartridges. So that's actually really good. I'm actually really impressed with that. Um, so that's a nice little freebie, but here it is. It's the main event. Here we go. I'm going to be so careful with this because if I break this, I'm going to be devastated. It's got a nice look, like it's got a lot of foam on that. <laughs> Keep protected with, pro I said projected, pro I can't even say the word. Protected, protected. My hands <laughs> got mixed up between the two words, never mind. So um, there is the logo. It's actually like really misty because it's been probably, it's probably been uh, on an aeroplane and all sorts. Um, there's the logo and um, there's your power switch. So, oh, I've just turned it on. I've just turned it on. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing the logo. Turn it off. I don't want to ruin it just yet. I don't want to ruin it just yet. Okay, so it's got, I've done it again. Um, so that's the power off. You have to put it in the middle. Um, the, if you switch it that way, that actually puts it into like battery bank mode, I think. So you can just charge up your switch and your other, other bits. Um, okay, if we spin it around, there's your lens. Um, and then you've got, it looks like a, either a speaker or a fan grill. Um, and you've just got a blank bit of nothing. You've got more uh, ventilation if you pop this out. There are your ports. <laughs> you can see that. Um, so you've got what looks like two USB 3 ports. I'm not sure if they are USB 3. Um, you've got two USB, I'm going to say USB 3 ports, why not? Uh, a HDMI port and a headphone jack, which is pretty cool. And then you've got the power uh, just there. So that's really cool. And then underneath you've just got a lot of ventilation. So let's try, I do have my switch just here on hand. So let's see how easy this is to put in. Let's see, I just pop that in. Oh yeah, that, that feels exactly the same as putting it into a normal Nintendo Switch dock. So that's, that's really cool. And then of course you've got your buttons on the top as well. Okay, so that is the projector itself. Now let's check out this uh, this rather large case. So this is way bigger than what I expected. This is absolutely massive and it's nice, nice hard case as well. You've got a nice handle there. You've got some um, clips for attaching what I assume would be a like a, a strap for your arm. Oh, and there you go. There's, a, there's the strap itself. It's pretty cool. Um, if we just do this. I'm actually going to try this out now. So this, this is actually like, I don't even know what this is made out of, but it's actually really sturdy. Well, let's put the projector in there. Oh, that's a, that's a really good fit. That is a really good fit. What else can we get in there? So I've got my switch. Put that there. This tightens up like that. That fits quite nicely. Now I'm not sure if this fits. Let's try a pro controller. Okay, that doesn't quite go in. If I just push it, okay. You can kind of just push it in and that fits nicely in there as well. I'll try the, so this is the, um, I don't even know what that's called. Does that fit any better? No. Oh, there you go. It's clearly made for the for the switch grip. And then you've got, I'm not sure, I've shown the picture. Oh, there you go, that, that fits perfectly. Wow, okay. Um, I say that, the wire doesn't quite, but I'm sure you can make that better. And then you've got another slot, I'm not quite sure. I'm just gonna put that in there. Why not? That kind of works. So let's let's give it the shake test. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see if it survived. 
I'm not going to be doing any sort of drop test with this. <laughs> I'm not waiting another four months or something for it. Look at that, it's all in there absolutely perfectly. So um, I am like super impressed with this. Everything feels like it's super high quality. You've got a nice bit of foam on the top as well there. Um, yeah, I'm super impressed. Um, I th I'm hoping it's definitely worth the wait. Um, but only time will tell. So over the next uh, couple of days, I'm going to try and get a quick short review up of this so I'll tell you just how good I actually think the quality of it is because that's the most important thing. Um, so we'll try and get that up for you the next couple of days. So <laughs> there is hope. There is hope for people. Who, if you've backed this and you're, you're feeling like you've been, um, you've had, you had your money took off you and you're never going to get it, it is coming. I promise you it is coming. <laughs> and uh, I think yeah, I think they actually have had a lot of issues with customs and stuff. So there is hope. Hope is here, and this is the proof of it. Your your waiting will be worth your. It will be worth your waiting. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. I'm a bit all over the place because it caught me completely off guard. So I'm just trying to get through this as fast as possible so I can use it because I'm just so excited to use it. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing. And if you want to see any more reviews, if you want to see our late night gaming show, you can, um, which is our podcast, you can check that out on our YouTube channel. Um, and also you can see, uh, you can read our reviews and all sorts of games and all of our other stuff that we get up to uh, on www.cgengames.com. Hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you soon.